for us. Mr. Good Paper, officially GP. I just skipped class with the Progress Report. The Progress Report. All right, we got officially GP in the building. How are you? All is well, how are you? I'm doing great, can't complain, man. So welcome to the platform. Let us know what all do you do? Man, I do uh, a little bit of everything from music to acting, modeling, and uh, you know, business owner. Okay, period, yeah. Mr. Entrepreneur. <laughs> yeah. So um, I want you to talk about what came first. Like, was it the music? Was it the modeling? Was it the acting? What came first? Um, actually, the modeling came first. Gotcha. I mean, the music been there, but the modeling actually popped off first. Like, uh, Fashion Nova hit me up and asked me why I'd be a model for their uh, male's clothing line coming out, and that kind of took off, and from there, I kind of incorporated the music into that. That's hard. Yeah. Okay, uh, Fashion Nova men's. I okay. mean, and Fashion Nova going up, too. So, I mean, what was that experience like modeling for them? I mean, being at the forefront of it, like, just seeing it where it's at now, it's like, you know, it's beautiful, like, because I could see, like, all the guys who wearing it now, like at first, you know, a lot of people, you know, thought it was funny. Right. You know, they're like, oh, you doing fashion loss for girls. I'm like, no, no, you see everybody wearing it. So, yeah, it's been going. Yeah, That's hard. Good. I feel like it's a great accomplishment, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you said music came after that. Talk about getting into music. Okay, well, the music, uh, you know, that started initially with, um, as a dream, and then, you know, I ran into, Somebody, a long, a long time friend, and we started our own label, you know, Red Carpet. And from there, you know, the music's been going up. Like, right now we got an album every week, you know, this whole fourth quarter. So it's been going, like, it's been turning all the way up. Like, I can't even, <laughs> like, really explain it, like, how happy I am, like, to see my crew, like, you know, my artists, I'm like my favorite, you know, favorite rappers, like, just listening to them, like, just seeing how much they done gained and how much we done grew just in the past year, you know. Yeah. And I respect. Yeah. Um, speaking of that most recent project, A Night in Vegas. Yeah. That one right there, you know, that came about, <clears throat> we were just recording, like, we went to a studio in uh, Vegas and just wanted to record a couple of songs we had on deck and, um, ended up turning into a whole night out, you know, 14 songs in one night, you know, to record a whole album and we just kind of come up with a name for it. I'm like, well, shit, it's name of the night in Vegas, you know, like some hangover type shit, you know, yeah. That's what's up. And I got a chance to see you perform yesterday at New Music Mondays too. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Definitely, man. Like I said, I thought the music was dope. Um, yeah. You know, definitely just, you know, like I said, just have more fun on that stage, but I thought yeah. the music was cool. Um, now, one of, one of the lines you said, you said something about making it past age 30. So yeah, let yeah. me know specifically I, what I you said. You. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Let me know specifically what you said, though, and, you know, just talk about just the significance and how difficult it is for some people to make it past that age. Oh, yeah, you know, like, what well, the bar was, you know, niggas trying to kill you, bitches want to rob you. If you made it past 30, I salute you, young nigga. You know, like, because, you know, I come from an era where we weren't, we weren't dealt to li live past 21, you know? Or if you made it past 21, you've been in jail. You know, either or you're gonna be dead or in jail, you know what I mean, before you hit 21. So it's like, if you made it past 30, like, if you made it past 30, man, like, that's an accomplishment. You know, I just lost a cousin, you know, and, he made it to 40, you know, so I, I you know, I couldn't be too mad because it's like, damn, you made it for real, you know, coming from where we came from, like, to make it to 40, like, that's saying something, you know, so if you made it past 30, like, hey, regardless if you're rich or poor or anything, that's an accomplishment, I salute you, you feel me? Yeah. I agree. Um, now let's talk about um, acting though. You you definitely appeared in a few notos, notable um, projects. So, yeah. you know, first, go ahead and name drop. Some of the well, I've been on uh, Empire, so season five, you know, episode three, five, seven, 13, and uh, 16, um, where I played like the part when Dre went to prison. So we kind of like play like his muscle, mm. you know, like his guy. That's why he was in jail, you know, the Muslims and stuff like that. So um, Empire, that was amazing. Um, Power, uh, The Shy, um, Proven Innocent, and then uh, The Come Up, which is an indie, indie film, and then another indie film is uh, called The Family's Money, you know. Um, 
Actually, I love acting more than anything. Like, music is definitely my passion, but acting, I love that because it's like, not only can you reenact situations that you may have been in, but there's never no age limit on that. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we watch, you know, Rudy Huxtable grow up, and now she's playing mother roles in movies. You know what I mean? Right. She was a baby in this movie, now she's playing a mother, and then, you know, there's never no age limit on that. Because you, if you're 90, you can be a grandfather. You know, if you're a baby, you can, you know, play a, a niece or a nephew, you know. So there's never no um, age limit on that. Plus, a visual, people see visuals more than they hear lyrics, you know. Mm. And outside of lyrics, they don't hear nothing in a book because nobody pick it up. So it's like sometimes they see a visual, people listen to that more than anything. So acting is definitely like the platform I'm trying to eventually just branch off into permanently. I respect that. I mean, yeah. I, I definitely hear, you know, uh, artists that get into acting and they talk about how much they like it and it's, that it's like smoother yeah. as a, you know, opposed to doing music. So I respect that. That's cool. Yeah. Not to mention the money better. Mm. Yeah. Respect yeah. that. I've seen, man, them sets is crazy. I hear. Yeah. I definitely be hearing. I ain't gonna say no names. That man was getting 300000 an episode. I be hearing. And he was only on the set for five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I was gonna say, now going back to talking about um, just prison, I know you said just an empire, that was your role, but you did serve some time in real life too, right? Yeah, absolutely. So talk about that. Um, I mean, you wanna talk about the snitching or you want me to talk about how it was Well, <laughs> I want you to talk about just, you know, if you don't mind, share what you did, how much time did you have, oh, okay, yeah. and just, you know, your mental going through that process. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, it was a, a it was a raid at my people's house and, you know, instead of, you know, them just taking it on the chin for what it is, you know, they ended up taking a stand on me mm. and putting that and like 10 years worth of other shit on me. You know what I mean? So usually when you're dealing with the penal system and you're dealing with drug cases, you know, they want names, mm-hmm. you know, they want you to roll. So they didn't even ask me none of that type of shit. They didn't ask me who or what or this, that, and the third, you know, they didn't ask me none of that. They didn't want to know, uh, do I got anybody? Not that I was going to tell or nothing like that, but they had me labeled as, you know, being him, mm. being that main guy. So they didn't give me no deals or nothing like that. They didn't offer me nothing. I think they came to the table like eight years, something like that. I'm like, I'm not copping out to nothing. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's not mine. You know what I mean? And I ain't my business to tell you who it is. You know what I mean? That's your job. Do it. So in regards to that, they gave me seven years, you know, and the judge, you know, he asked me, he like, you got anything you want to say? And I, you know, looked him in his eyes and I told him, I said, yeah, look, right now we got a hundred niggas in the bullpen waiting to get sentenced. We got a hundred niggas going home and we got a hundred niggas catching cases. You sending me down the road for seven years, that ain't about to change nothing. Cause I'm about to get right off this bus, knock a roller and get busy. It's still the streets, you know what I mean? Like jail or prison or on the, on the streets is all the same. You know what I mean? We just in a bigger prison out here, you know what I mean? Where you can move around, you can drive around, you can fly around, but you still contained, you know what I mean? So he looked at me like I was crazy and like get out of the courtroom. So when I got down the road, yeah, I made, I made it happen exactly how I told him it was gonna happen, you know? Got a roller and shit, we got busy. I started like four companies from prison. Came home, wow. you know, and yeah. So anybody who uh, listening to this, doing what they do, hey, don't be scared of that time, do it. You know what I mean? Don't be telling no niggas and shit. That shit weird. You know, you can't be saying you a street nigga, street nigga, street nigga, then you get put in a place where it's all street niggas and now you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. That's weird. You know what I mean? Like, it, it is what it is. Like, them killers, they be talking about, most of the niggas ain't, you know, they not no killers for real. They mistakenly killed somebody, mistakenly shot somebody who had nothing to do with nothing. You know what I mean? Get to jail, so they trying to live up to a name and yeah, they get political, but End of the day, prison ain't no different from the street. You know what I mean? Niggas doing everything they do on the streets in jail. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I came home and, you know, put that behind me for real. Like, so I don't walk around like, oh, I've been to jail. Nah, I've been to prison. Sure. You know, man, I've been, you know, because everybody got to struggle. You know what I mean? So it's like, I could tell you mine, but I ain't going to show you mine. You're not going to see it on my face. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to live every day like a new day. Respect, man. Yes, man. 
So um, our platform is called The Progress Support. How do you feel that you progressed lately as a person? Um, mainly, I feel I've been progressing with my prayer. You know, um, doing them on time, you know, being sufficient with it, and really taking my time with it. You know, um, I balance my whole day around prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if I like come in here, I'm like, damn, I'm running late, but I need to stop and pray. You know what I mean? So I just pull over to a little park and pray real quick because it's like, when I'm a rush to the dunya or to the world for when I'm not even here without that prayer, something could have happened on my way here. You know what I mean? So yep. I try to balance everything around the prayer. You know what I mean? That's really where I'm progressing at, you know, as far as uh, spiritually. Um, mentally, I'm just at a state where it's like, ain't nothing bothering me. I'm over that. You know, if they with me, they with me. If they not, they not. If they talking about me, that's cool. Who listening? You know what I mean? I ain't, I'm not. You feel me? So I'm progressing as like just letting things go and just, you know, maintaining my prayer. Nah, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. Well, yeah, I definitely appreciate your time. Um, definitely appreciate what you got going on. Definitely make sure you keep tapping into Atlanta, too. Oh, absolutely. I love it here. Like Atlanta, the shit. I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm going to move here, but that I don't know. That ain't decided, you know what I mean? But I definitely love it here. Like, the culture of just seeing so many, you know, artists and, you know, people just coming together and just networking. Like, I've networked so much since I've been here. Like, it's a beautiful city, you know what I mean? And the people as well, you know, they're well-mannered and, you know, everybody give you a, a smile. You know, it's none of that That's just fat. super tough shit. Like, ain't nobody into that. You know what I mean? If you tough, you ain't got to be walking around like you tough. You tough. You know, I love it here. It's dope. Respect. Yes, well. The Progress Report.